We all grew up being told that we're all different from one another. But we also share hobbies and ideas with other people. Which I guess gives us a special aspect in ourselves. I take photos. And along with millions of people in the world, we try to capture moments into an image for different reasons. Some of us take photos because the shot looks amazing and it's worth remembering. Some of us take photos for other people to remember what other people did to you, said to you, or to remember how other people made you feel. Some of them gave you a night to remember. Some of them made you feel loved. Or maybe they just mean so much to you. Either way, we all take photos, may it be everyday snaps on your phone or headshots of people for more important reasons. Whatever it is, we all take photos. One reason many people take photos is because we want to encapsulate a memory in a frame. It's our own way of freezing time and carrying it in our phones or on our walls. It's our way of creating checkpoints in our lives we want to keep in our pocket without the obligation of letting go. But photography is also a way to let people see our character. Letting your character be seen isn't necessarily showing ourselves physically. Perhaps it's also in the way we take photos that shows us how we think, how we deal with what we have, and most importantly, how we see lives. I get that there's a populous amount of people that just take photos for the simple reason that things are aesthetic. But photography in its entirety falls subconscious to most of us. It may just be a beautiful moment you're trying to keep precious. But how do you frame such a beautiful moment? Which parts do you highlight and which parts do you choose to leave out? See, I don't speak now on what photography is or how you should do photography. But I'm here to ask you that the next time you pull out your camera or your phone to take a photo or a video, think about this, this video. Think about how you put things into perspective. It's not always about the bigger picture, but maybe it's about analyzing what lies deeper. And maybe you yourself can discover something you didn't know about yourself. Or maybe you could learn to understand how other people think and try to sympathize with their outlook on life. Just like Richard Avedo once said, all photographs are accurate. None of them is the truth. And I guess that's true because we're all trying to tell a story with our photographs. But we're also choosing to leave some important parts out of it. Not only are we telling a story, we're telling our own stories. And I guess that's what's most important about photography. Having a voice. And that's why I'm thankful to have everyone here make this video possible. Thank you for these people for making this video possible by sending in your photos and your story. I hope this video and many more videos to come gives you a voice. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Melvin Altman. See you guys next Sunday for another video. Same time, but a different place. Because we're all on this road together. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon. Peace. <laughs>